This is Mary from Kamash Fiber Arts. How is everybody doing tonight? I just wanted to come on here and show you a little something tonight with some wool. I just wanted to show you this because I got the, well, I didn't just get it. I've had it for quite a while, as you can tell. This is a border luster. And when I got it, it was really, look at that, really dirty. Um, not too difficult to scour, and I'll, I'll tell you how in a minute. This, it sat so long, it's probably been sitting in my storage room for a couple years. What happens is this dirt just sits on these tips, and then it sort of stains the fiber after it's scoured. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit hard and a teeny bit sticky. So the longer you let something sit, can you see how... <laughs> Look how stiff that is. It's very stiff. The lanolin sort of oxidizes on the fiber. So it really is best to scour your stuff, scour your wools as soon as you can so this doesn't happen. Okay, so, and I honestly didn't scour any right away. So I'm not sure if this would have happened, but I'm suspecting it's because the wool sat for quite a while. Now, what I did with this one is I did what's called a pre-suant soak, and I soaked it in hot water, um, as hot as I would scour, from about 120 to 140 degrees, and I let it sit, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes, so it gets rid of all the dirt, it softens up the lanolin and gets it ready to scour, so I don't have to keep putting it through soap so many times, so it's a nice pre um, scour thing to do with wools like this and it is a it is fairly greasy okay so let me show you what it looked like after I scoured it and I wanted to show you um, I wanted to show you some of these tips though now that it's dry I can't I can see a little can you see the tips how they're a little bit discolored and you're gonna find that on some fleeces that you don't hang on to and that's what they called weathered tips and it's usually from animals that aren't coated and remember this tip is in the air the wind the rain everything for 365 days a year so these tips get a little bit weathered but isn't that pretty this really came out pretty darn nice if I dye it or comb it or cart it you won't even see these little yellow sections but look how what look how white that is I mean this came out so pretty I love that. Okay, and I wanted to show you something else. So I have a Lester long wool. This is what the Lester long wool looks like. This is raw. And I, of course, I had this for a while. You know, if you're like me, you kind of put things away and you forget you have them and then you go to look for them and you're like, oh my gosh, I forgot I've had this for like five years. Can you see the, the yellow section on there? Can you see that? You might think this is suant, and you might be right, but I suspect there's something growing in there, only because I don't remember it being this yellow when I first got it, because I did scour some when I first got it. I've probably had it for, I've probably had this for a couple years, and then the lanolin sort of got hard on here. Let me show you what it looks like scoured, and I want to show you this really yellow section. So this is scoured. But look how yellow, how bright yellow that is. I would, I would suspect this is canary staining because it's mostly at the base of the lock. So this is the tip and this is the cut end. If this yellow were at the tip, I might say it's weathered, maybe. But typically weathering isn't this bright yellow. This is bright yellow. So a a canary staining or canary is a bacteria that actually grows over time if you do not scour it right away. And, you know, the grower doesn't know that. You, sometimes you just don't know it until it starts to grow. And then you get these really bright yellow parts in your fiber, which, you know, this isn't the best. Um, they don't die very well when you get that canary staining. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you guys tonight. So this would, this probably is canary staining. And then this is just plain old weathering from being in the weather. And it doesn't even look that dark on here. <laughs> it's very, it's very faint. And weathering usually is more brown. And canary staining is definitely more of a bright yellow. This was only scoured once. Can you see how soft, look how soft that is. The sheen on that is so 
you would never know it, right? You would never know it by looking at this. So sometimes you might get a wool like this, you know, cheap and go, oh my gosh, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> but I'm giving you, I'm giving you some tips on how to get it really clean and super, super soft. All right. Hey, thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you guys have a good evening and we'll talk soon. Bye now.